When I first started learning AutoCAD, it was in a training center called Indo Danish Tool Room, uh, where I enrolled for a six month program and AutoCAD was allotted 15 days. In 15 days, we learned the basics of 2D and 3D tools and just nothing more than that, just simple drafting techniques. Now the class was two hours each day. So in total, I got 30 hours of training in AutoCAD. So was it sufficient? Of course not. For software like AutoCAD, it takes more than 15 days to learn it properly and just learning to make simple 2D and 3D drawings is not sufficient. You need to learn about dimensioning, annotations, blocks, external references, layer, printing and plotting, proper scale and a lot more. Now I later spent two years learning AutoCAD all by myself and then I cleared the AutoCAD certified professional exam with I guess approximately 85% score. That was my first attempt. In those two years, I developed my own roadmap of learning a new skill. And I later learned a few more software and tools like GDNT, SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360 using the same roadmap. So here I will share the proper strategies from my roadmap that includes getting the AutoCAD software for free, sharing my collection of best yet free courses and learning materials, my another collection of free ebooks that you can use to practice with AutoCAD. And finally, I'll also share resources that will help you pass the AutoCAD certification exam. And in the end, you'll also get some bonus material. So if you stick to the end of the video, there are several bonus content for you. So are you ready? Let's get started. Now the step one of this roadmap is getting the software. Now if you have AutoCAD, great. If not, here are some methods that you can use to get the software for free in a completely legitimate way. Now, if you are a student, you can get the student license from Autodesk with one year validity for free. You just need to share your student ID or you can sign up with your school or college email and you'll get access to the software immediately. The link of student version of AutoCAD is in the description of this video. If, however, you don't have a student ID, you can ask your siblings, friends, anyone who is willing to lend you the free student version, assuming they are in a school or college and also they are ready to give you the software on their own behalf. Now, another method is a 30 day free trial of AutoCAD, which you can install for free. Now, if you install it on a virtual machine, you can gain additional free trial. But remember, it's only for learning the software and you should not use it commercially. The last method is AutoCAD LT license, which is a lot cheaper than full version of AutoCAD, but it has no 3D tools. So if you just want to learn AutoCAD 2D and you just want to explore 3D maybe later, then you can start with LT license. Don't go the other way and look for sketchy ways of getting the software. And I hope you are following me here as almost always these softwares are laced with malware and they're not good for your PC as well. Now you have the software. The next step is finding the right course or the right learning material. Now I was unlucky here as I had to piece together several YouTube videos to learn a topic, but you are in luck. You can start from scratch using this absolutely free series of videos that will teach you the basics of AutoCAD right from scratch. Now, this series is completely open and I have prepared it myself. Now, using this series, you can avoid overwhelm because it only contains the topic that you need for the beginner level. Now, the link of this series is also in the description of this video. Okay, by now you have the basic knowledge of AutoCAD and it's time to really cement your learning and you can do that with practice drawings. Now, that's step three of this roadmap. Don't think that you are done learning AutoCAD once you are through the basic lessons. You'll forget them faster than you learned it. And I'm saying this from experience. So start with simple practice drawings and make as many drawings as you can to really cement your learning. I'd recommend at least 50 to 100 practice drawings. Here again, you are in luck as I have already done the heavy lifting for you and I've prepared a free PDF ebook that contains nearly 100 practice drawings that you can make using AutoCAD. Once again, the link of that practice drawing is in the description of this video. Now it's totally free. So you just don't need to worry about purchasing it or anything at all. Now, once you are done making the simple drawings, start making the advanced projects from the ebook. And these projects are like floor plans, elevation, section, circuit diagram, and a lot more. 
This will give you the much needed confidence when you are learning AutoCAD. And in the end, you'll have several drawings that you can confidently say that you have made these drawings yourself using AutoCAD. Now, the fourth step of this roadmap is moving to advanced topics. Now you have learned AutoCAD basics, you've practiced with several drawings, and you are now ready for advanced topics like dimensions and annotation tools, annotative property, sheet set, dynamic block, data extraction. So there is quite a lot to cover. Now, this is the step where you need to step away from openly available free sources and invest in a good AutoCAD book, online course, or offline training. Now, once you have the foundation, you can select any of these methods to start learning. If you prefer the books, then you can get the practical AutoCAD book from Pat Publication, which is co-authored by me. And you can also get Mastering AutoCAD book by Brian C. Benton and George Amura, which I highly recommend. Now, I have linked both the books in the description of this video. Now, if you want an instructor by your side throughout your learning journey, then you can sign up for SourceCAD subscription. Of course, this is a paid subscription, but with this, you get access directly to the instructor, as well as several courses in AutoCAD. Now, this will give you access to not just the courses or the instructor, but you'll also get some live sessions where you can ask questions from instructor directly in real time. Now, if, however, you prefer other platforms for learning, then I'd recommend LinkedIn Learning. So if you don't prefer SourceCAD, you can select LinkedIn Learning as it has great courses. But the only problem with LinkedIn Learning is the lack of instructor support for Q&A, which is almost non-existent. Finally, the most expensive option is instructor-led training, which I would not recommend unless it's something that you really like. Its biggest disadvantage is condensed training for a few days where you might get overwhelmed with a lot of new concepts. And once your training is over, there is hardly anyone to answer your questions. So stick with books or online courses. Now, finally, the fifth step of this roadmap is getting AutoCAD certification. Now that you know the basics and advanced tools, you have also practiced with sample drawings and it's perfect time to get certified. AutoCAD certification adds real credibility to your profile and it will make your CV or LinkedIn profile stand out from the rest. Now, certification exam is conducted by Autodesk via test portals like CertiPort, so it is credible and it is recognized throughout the industry. Now, you can buy exam voucher for certification exam and appear for it, but if you want to be absolutely sure of your success in the exam, then again, I would recommend you take a few sample certification exams before you appear for the real one. Now, the best place for preparing for the certification exam is, of course, the SourceCAD subscription, which I mentioned earlier, because with that, you get access to, again, a certification preparation course, which contains three practice tests that will give you hands-on experience with the software and one mock certification exam, which is exactly like the real exam. So you'll get a hang of what to expect in the real exam. Also, all the other technical details related to exam, the entire syllabus and everything else is covered in that course. Once again, the link of this course as well is in the description of this video. Okay, so that's my five step roadmap for learning AutoCAD right from scratch. I have a suggestion for you though. Learn the software slowly, but consistently. Don't sit for several hours a day and then take a few days off. Instead, dedicate a few hours every day to learning AutoCAD and you will be a professional in just a few weeks if you follow this roadmap. Now, if you agree with this, then give this video a like. Finally, here are a few bonus ebooks. The first one is a collection of 200 AutoCAD commands that you can use as a reference. Second one is AutoCAD quiz with answers that you should use for self-assessment. And finally, this is an AutoCAD certification exam preparation roadmap with complete exam syllabus, technical details, and a lot more. All of these links are available in the description of this video. Finally, if you have questions, let me know in the comments area and I'll see you in the next one.